Hello and welcome. It's Jimmy Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm coming to you trying to kind of recreate something like this, um, but doing a double wave. It's on a bigger canvas, so I'm going to try and create a double, a double wave, one at each end. This was the collaboration that I did with my son. I did the Dutch Poor Fiery Wave and he did the embellishment um, with the airbrush. So I had so many offers to buy this piece, but I didn't, I don't really want to sell it because it was something I did with my son. But I'm going to try and recreate it on this big piece. Actually, I won't put it there because I'll end up blowing paint all over it. Um, so this particular canvas is 76.2 76 by 61. So it's a nice big canvas. So I'm going to create, let's be positive, something simple, it's similar, simple, similar. So obviously go in a bigger canvas and trying to get a, a little bit different composition is gonna be, you know, obviously a bit different than that one was, but We'll just try it, just go for it. I've got a divot in my canvas, obviously been leaning against something and it's given it a divot, but hopefully that should come out. I am going over with just the soft um, sponge brush. Because, oh, I'm already flicking paint everywhere. That's just what I didn't want to do, but anyway, that happens. So yeah, it's just using this because I didn't want to, as I said, blow the paint everywhere with this bigger canvas, but um, I've already done, I've already <laughs> blown it, not blown it, I've brushed it everywhere with my brush, but never mind. I'll just coat it and then where I need to be able to blow it, then I'll pour extra paint on that area so kind of marked off here where half so it's just to give me a, a a sort of guide to where i need my um waves to end but i mean i am not one for anything looking perfectly perfect and symmetrical so i'm not in for something that's perfectly proportioned i don't like that myself I'm not perfectly proportioned, so <laughs> I don't um, look for that in my art either. So there you go. Put my little duvalaki brush out of the way um, and start to load up my colours. Just need to get this big blob of paint off the floor before I slip on it. I wouldn't want to do that because that would stop me from painting if I got injured so I don't want to do that so I'm kind of starting here this is my berry delicious I'm going to try and keep similar similar colors to what they were on that particular one Ooh. Now I'm getting nervous, isn't that crazy? Why should I be nervous? Because it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> I'm not doing it for a boss that that uh, is telling me you've got to have this done by this time or that time. So I don't know why I'm feeling nervous, but oh yeah. Better save a little bit of that in case I need to change that up there so this was that was my berry delicious that is simply a dark red add in phalo blue a blob of phalo blue and a good blob of black if you want it to go very dark this is the cool red and i added gold to it so it metallic gold so it's got a very shimmery effect to it i'm gonna start in the, the crepe 
so it's yeah like a fiery effect I, I guess more so than a ocean wave Again, I'll just save a bit in case I need it to this is the fluoro orange our oh, sunset no don't use the fluoro orange mom so I know that he never does as he's told so there you go I'm not doing as I'm told either oh dear the defiance I don't know where he gets it from just don't know Righty-o. I'm going to put a bit of yellow in this too. Got the next size up canvas from this to do if we have an order for it. But um, as I said before, I don't like doing commissions. I like to do the artwork and if they sell, they sell. I don't like doing it for someone. It's just too, I just, it puts too much pressure on you and I don't need that at my age. So I've decided not to really do any commissions Stop, too much paint. Wow, this is a biggie. Oh, this paint is gonna fly everywhere. I can just see it. So. Wish me luck, hairdryer on. Thinking, thinking, I'm gonna slow myself down. So i loving those colors, I'm loving those colors. Anyway, here we go. As usual, I don't like the crest, but that has not been a problem if you can um, just, just got to alter it somehow. Or might be better to do it from over there. It's too difficult. Um, I'm gonna take that out. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm 
I know that if Scott, Scott's going to come along and do his airbrush thing on this, he can use this blank part up there to create something in it, I guess. What am I doing? Ah. Oh, what have I done? I shouldn't have done that. That's, I'll go back over that. I'll get rid of that bit. And I'll put some more white on it. So he can um, use that top area. I'm just trying to work out what I'm gonna do with these. It's not too bad. And I'll just use my little balloon to just soften up the edge of these. It looks more wavy looking, if you know what I mean. Where's my weight and a bigger canvas is sort of all over the um place Ooh. maybe i'll do the same the other side too As it dries off, I can work a little bit better with the balloon because I'm um, doing some just sort of softening these edges. I think if I go in and try to do this now, it might, yeah, it's going to. Yeah, it's not going to work. I need to let it dry off a little bit. I won't worry about that at present because I know that Scott will come in and he'll um, embellish these edges. So I've done my bit. The next bit will be the sun's eye. We'll just put a photo in between time to show you what it looks like at this present time. And then we'll go on to the embellishment with Scott's airbrush. I am going to um put Scott's airbrush art on a separate video after this is played because he hasn't yet been able to embellish this. So um, I'll put this video out now and then when we come to, um, when Scott decides to uh, embellish it, I will put another video out. So please um, don't miss it because it will look something special for sure. So bye for now.